some of the qualities in Latin men that Aglo men don't have, for example, yeah. they don't know how to dance salsa. But you're Latin, right? I, I, I am part so Latin. So you I'm should Latin probably... Oh, Kevin, sadly. Kevin, can we prove how Latin... Absolutely. Can... Absolutely. Absolutely. We're going to dance. Here we go. Let's see. Okay, it's very easy. What do I do? You have to do like uh, three steps. Just before... Okay, you have to go like... One, two, three. 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 See? Venga. I'm sorry. Venga, 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 Jay. You can do it. You can do it. Feel the music. There we go. Feel the music. I'm there feeling we go. Hey. The music feels great. <laughs> thank you very much. I, I am just a natural. Yeah. Selma, thank you, Selma. Who's rushing into the movie? We'll be right back with Sam. Right after this. That could be a frightening prospect. Then we bring you all of Salma Hayek. Oh, let's get right to it. Uh, but wait, we have a huge uh, intern crisis. Uh oh. Oh, what? Um, Channel 3. Sorry, Santa Barbara. Very it's important. A, you'll, you'll enjoy this, actually. Have you ever been an intern? <laughs> Uh, no, no. Would no. you like to be? Um, no, no, but it's... Okay. Uh, <laughs> Would you like to be in an experience? Like <laughs> Are you chilly? No, you no. Um, I was fixing my hair. Okay, you keep, you keep adjusting. <laughs> Here's the thing. Channel 3 in Santa Barbara has these interns, yeah. and they sued, saying they're, they work, they're working hard, and they should be paid as employees. And Channel 3 in Santa Barbara fought the suit, and they won, saying that it would put a chilling effect on interns if you paid them. So, of course, oh, our, yeah. our Channel 5 that. interns have reactions. How do you guys feel about that? Show us the money! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Channel 5 interns. We started this morning with a bizarre story. Charmed her way across this country on several TV shows. She's demonstrated some disloyalty by appearing on other morning shows before being on ours. But when asked the question, what show do you love the best, Salma Hayek always says... Here, I love it here. Look at all this mess. <laughs> I mean, they have tons of trash in the back. Let me look at Go this. Ahead. Look at this. Look at this. You know, <laughs> you find a brush, you find this thing, sort of thing. This is incredible, this place. It's like home. <laughs> I love it here, you know. And he gets excited when he's telling the news. He could be almost Mexican. And look at <laughs> And then Channel 3, and then, you know, I'm, I'm never going anywhere else. There you go. You're in for deep. Look We're at the crowd that. Salma brought. Look at this. Um, okay, Fools Rush In, congratulations. It has been very well received and is doing very well. Yes, yes. Are you, when Matthew Perry was here just the other day, and he said before the movie opened, he was very, very nervous. Do you get worried before movies open? Um, yes, and yes, I get worried, but... Most of all, I get curious. I, I get this, like, rush because I, I really want to know how it's doing, you know? But in, it, I didn't get that nervous because this movie, it's very, very good. And even if a lot of people didn't go see it, which they did, I knew the people that were going to go see it were going to walk out of the film happy and thinking that their, uh, their, the movie was worth their money. So that's really, really what matters. And so I wasn't that nervous. You know, it's funny because our, the great director, Len, has put the most extreme close-up we've ever had on the morning news, and it looks fantastic. Oh. <laughs> no, it's great. It looks great. Let's take a look. Salma Hayek, so movies and theaters right now with Matthew Perry. Fools rush in. Okay. Religion is a very important part of our culture, at least in my family. And I believe that your destiny has already been decided. You just have to read the sign. Mm -hmm. You don't believe that? No. <laughs> no. I think if a guy gets hit by a bus, it's because he wasn't looking. Not because of some master plan. So you don't think that it was fate that you were standing in this line when I got off the phone? Fate? No. No. I think it was more of a bladder thing. <laughs> <laughs> so we're looking at your beautiful eyes. Do you have a favorite oh, feature? God. I just woke up. No. I'm like still asleep. My eyes don't do that. <laughs> do I have? What was the question again? I said, do you have a favorite feature? It wasn't really a question. <laughs> uh, feature? It's a, a feature film or features like a feature? Feature a... facial feature. Okay. Um, on myself? Sure. Um, Not hard to answer. How about uh, 
When, oh. when you play opposite somebody like Matthew, uh -huh. is it, I mean, you're obviously acting, but it's easily to be, is it easy to be charmed by somebody like that? Yeah, by, Matt, by somebody like Matthew, yes. He's absolutely adorable. And he is always telling jokes and always sociable and always, you know. So, it, you know, if you work with a piece of wood, you know, some people are just like... And they're like, you make them, they don't talk to you, they're like, actually, and they're like really nice, and then again, cut. They go back to, <laughs> they go back to the wood. wood, you know, selves. For our non-English speaking viewers, Carlos Amezgua, I know, has several questions for you, Salma. They were, Barbara and I were sort of sitting here like lumps as they were prattling away. I think it's, it's probably wise to explain why the movie is doing so well. I think it's, it's uh, Matthew gets introduced into a culture that he's completely foreign to. And, and then and eventually embraces it, and, and it's kind of fun to play off that, isn't it? Yeah, and it's actually, it's actually that Matthew gets introduced into a culture that everybody thinks they know, but it has never been show with truth, and it has never been shown in a positive way. Do, do you, do so you, I think that America is being introduced by this movie, I, by a part of a culture that they live with, but that they don't really know. And through this movie, they get to know a little better, and they get to know some good things about this and how culture. how much fun it is. And how well, <laughs> I know, it's so much fun to be Latin and move your hands. And <laughs> Were you afraid, though, Carlos brings a really good point, because, I mean, so, pe so many people are concerned about political correctness or whatever, that they were making, that some people would perceive it as making fun of the culture, not in an affectionate oh, no. way, but... No, 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 no. Uh, this is a comedy, you know, and you'd be, and we'd be terribly stupid if you didn't have a sense of humor at all of who you are, and if you didn't use stereotypes to get a laugh. But it's shown with so much dignity, and we really have characters, not caricatures, and that's what makes the difference. And it also shows the warmth that we have. It shows a lot of family values, which is great because we're losing them. We're losing them around the world. And as, as many problems as we have as Latins, um, we do have family values. And we, we have lots of stuff, but not homeless people. I mean, we do have 72 people living in a small room, which is not good either, but you know. But they're not homeless. <laughs> but we're not homeless, you know. We take care of the family. We take care of the old people. They, they die in their home. So much. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you we very have to run, but would you just stay here the rest of the day? Yes, I'll <laughs> clean up your mess here. <laughs> that, you know what? We'll make more of a mess then. We'll mess up even more. Hey, anything you like. Wow. Um, okay, guys, we can stop staring. Thank right, you for next. coming in. There's like 45 people are here. Thank you, Salma. Gail is alive.